Hey guys, Dave Igo here. I'm so happy to be able to show you guys this. And this one is one you're going to dig. This is my new text message wall powered by the Wrecking Ball SMS system. And I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of it here. And all of the cool things that it's capable of doing, including text to TV. Okay? I'm going to show you how this works. Basically, what this is, is this is a text chat. Think of a Skype group, but for text messaging. So now the church group, the Little League team, the sales team, um, they can all keep in touch with each other via text message. Past that, it can be used in a social setting, right? So everybody, you can have your own text chat group where you and all your friends can stay in touch, or you and all your customers or your mastermind clients can now all stay in touch via text message, okay? Now, here's one of the really cool things about it. You can set it so either free or paid status, okay? On free status, the company or the church would just be absorbing the cost because they'd be using it as a notification tool. The sales team, the company would just be absorbing the cost. In paid mode, everybody pays their own way in and out. In other words, they pay for every text they send and they pay for every text they get back. Okay? Because if you have 100 people in the group, at a penny a text, every text somebody sends is going to cost you a, a dollar. But if you have it set to paid, everybody pays their own way in and their own way out. Past that, it allows you to set up their pricing. So if you're paying a penny a text, you can charge them a nickel a text. Okay? Now let's get to the meat of this thing. Here's the super cool part about this. This is the actual text message wall. And this is one of our test installations. I'm just showing it to you. But what happens is everybody that texts in shows up on this wall and you can iframe this wall into any website and allow chat now we've set this so we can completely customize the look of this wall we can edit all of the colors the border colors we can make it a a dotted border or a double border and we can change the background color here we'll just bump it up to red or this this fancy pink color here right and click update we can change the font sizes um, we can change this to Comic Sans uh, here and we can change it from italic to normal and then we can change the font sizes to 24 and we can change the font colors and we can completely customize this thing and when we come back over here and hit refresh you can see we've completely customized it. We can make the border go away. We can change the background colors. We can make everything transparent. We can upload an image as a background, both for the main wall and for the balloon and for the text balloon. Check this out. We can come over here. I have everything set to centered right now. But if we uncheck that and click update setting, now what it does is it moves everybody else's messages. Let me just get up to, uh, let me scroll back sorry about the, the profanities there we were testing a dirty word filter but you can see see here's some of my text so now if I'm logged in on my website I can put my number in right and that's automatically going to know it's me and move me over to the right and change the color of my widget how cool is this and now I can type something in here and I can text oops Oh, I have myself as blocked in the admin. Um, but you get the idea. I'd be able to text something in. It's going to show up in the wall. And everybody in the group is going to get it. Now, let's say we're using this in a text-to-TV mode. All we got to do is come up here and go show hide controls. Right? Let me hit update and come back over here and just hit the refresh button. And now you can see all of the controls are gone. So we can use this in a text-to-TV situation. Now, I've got that figured out, too. But before I show you that, let me show you this. We just put this in. We have a bad words filter in here. So if you're using it in, like, a bar setting, you can come in here and you can put a whole list of bad words as well as the word that you want to replace them with, right? And then what happens is anytime somebody texts in a word you don't want to show up, oops, let me show the controls again here. So I'll just uncheck this so I'm turning the controls back on. I'm coming back over to my widget. I'm going to hit refresh. 
So now we come up here, we can see anytime somebody texts in a word that's on the bad word list, it replaces it with whatever our bleep word is, and that can be whatever you want to set. So I think we've covered all the angles, okay? I'm going to pause the video and open up something else. Hang on one second, you guys. Okay, so this is your text to TV. Now you can see this, you know, we've got, I've just got some random stuff in here, but check this out, man. We've got this all figured out. So imagine, and, and this needs styling. This is a quick demonstration I put together for you, but we're going to show you exactly how to do this. Imagine this was on the monitor at the local bar, at the local pub, and you can see we're pulling various RSS feeds and Google gadgets to get these cool dynamic sliders. You can pull a Twitter feed, a Facebook feed, any news feed, an RSS feed, whatever you want. You can pull into this display and you can frame your text wall right into it for true instant text to TV. Uh, my name is Dave Igo. On behalf of my partners, Christopher Griffin, Ed Hopkins, I hope you all have a very profitable day.